startups it's uh, actually i say that it has now my it's a movement which has come up in the country thousands of startups are working in defense and aerospace technologies missiles were never developed by private industries earlier today missiles and bombs are being developed by the private industry there are number of industries which are working on the missiles radars if you look at a very prominent example like atax is coming from a private industry today two industries are developing wap wheeled armored platform coming from another uh, private industry the light tank is coming from another uh, private industry today and edu has actually brought in a concept of uh, um, program called dcpp development come production partner where uh, when drdo takes up any project uh, right uh, from the research or development onwards the dcpp that is development come production partner joins at the development so the complete know how and knowledge is transferred so that industry would be able to develop the further systems on its own the imports are coming down and the capability in the country as such as an ecosystem to develop all these defense technologies has gone up in a big way and the country is able to develop many systems on its own today the complete drones related technology there are more than 100 150 startups which have come up in uh, there was uh, drones related technologies in fact uh, there was an exhibition where honorable prime minister also was there in the exhibition to see and people and that Uh, was exhibited by more than 120 uh, drones there the complete drone technology today is almost everything is developed by the private industry in uh, in for multiple applications there has been uh, one uh, requirement which has been projected that uh, uh, the in the hilly regions uh, the transporting of vegetables and, and other things and yeah. all also which actually somebody um, the farmers have to sell it then they have to carry it to the nearby town and the hilly region going down going up and all those things similarly the youngsters are working on all these um, components various spare parts sub technologies new technologies which are required new propulsion systems new materials no you know new engine related technologies various uh, corridors which have been created the infrastructure the test facilities which are there coming up to support the various uh, mechanisms which are come to support the these youngsters to come out with innovations and r&d financial support this is uh, changing the system very fast youngsters are working on material science today basic sciences social sciences are also equally important unless uh, the fundamental sciences subjects you are strong technologies cannot be developed so there needs to be a lot of importance given to the sciences in fact that's why the icers have been established in instead of science education research more into the sciences and related research which a thrust has been given today our education system also the way it's evolving our educational institutions rankings globally are improving day by day